morning. This is my breakfast. Um, I did five eggs, some bacon, and some ham chopped up with green onion, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I made it for my husband and myself, so I probably have about three eggs here, and then cheddar cheese on top. Well, I just got finished shaving four heads of hair. So I shaved all my three boys and then also my husband. So now I'm going to go on a walk run and then I'll come back and shower and it's going to feel pretty great because I'm itchy with the hair. But that had to be done. So success. So this is kind of strange, but I did not have any sole water yesterday. Zilch. I did have that uh, chicken broth. So that probably helped, and that um, fried chicken skin was um, salty. But um, I just realized last night when I was going to bed that I never had Soleil. Really irresponsible. So far I feel fine today, so that's good. But I'm going to have some real quick right now and then go on my walk. So I'm thinking that maybe since it was like 73 or something yesterday, and most of the day felt even colder than that. I think that might have been why I didn't feel the need for Soleil. Because I definitely need it a lot more when it's hot. So this is what I'm talking about. Like you do need to supplement uh, sodium and potassium and magnesium. But you also need to be totally aware of your body and what works for you. And do what works for you. And consult with your doctor if you feel nervous about it. So, okay, so I'm having one of these uh, collagen protein drinks. Heavy whipping cream, water, ice. Round two. Yep, I'm having another one. Welcome to all my new subscribers. How fun to see that I um, have a bunch of new ones. I'm sure it's thanks to Christy's kind shout out and uh, the um, Chaffle collab. So, welcome. Um, just so in case you're wondering, I'm going to do a video ne next week um, where people can ask me questions. It doesn't have to be about keto. It can be about anything you're curious about with our family or likes, dislikes, um, anything that pops in your head. So go ahead and comment below with some questions or you can go find my video that's a few days old and you can comment on there as well. Uh, my husband and I are going out to dinner with some friends. Um, really good close friends of ours. Um, we are going to Texas Roadhouse, which is one of my favorite places to go because totally keto. I mean, you can go keto. My husband and I always share a full rack of ribs. I always get my half without barbecue sauce. And then we each get a side salad with ranch. Of course, I don't have croutons. So that is what I'll be having. I will show you. Um... I don't like to video when we're with other people, just I don't want to make them uncomfortable, so I, I won't do much. I'll just show my food. And then, we're going to ice cream afterwards, so I'm sitting here debating, should I put some of my enlightened ice cream into a container, wrap it in a bunch of ice in a cooler and bring it? Should I have some dark chocolate in my purse? What should I do? Just so that I don't get tempted. This place does not have sugar-free ice cream of any sort. So, do I stay strong? Do I bring a backup? So, I don't know. I'm really quick to say that. I would like to show you my boys' haircuts because I did shave them all today. I don't know if my husband will be up for that. He's not a camera guy. So, we'll see. But I will show you in a second how handsome they all are looking. Here's handsome Ezra. He is playing the piano. He loves to play the piano, huh? Don't mind our messy living room. We have not been doing a whole lot of house cleaning lately with our testing. Go ahead, Ezra, play the piano. Does that embarrass you? Oh, I actually thought it sounded pretty good. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Just do a quick little snippet for us. Please. Oh, come on. Okay, then play something you're comfortable with. What are the things you've made up? You you have a lot of songs that you've you've composed yourself, so... How about one of those? Okay. Okay. So in case you guys are wondering, Ezra is 15. He was born in Ethiopia. <laughs> He's like, okay, this just got really weird. Ezra is so funny on the camera. 
Because he's not afraid in real life to uh, be friendly and outgoing. But when the camera comes out, different story. It's pretty funny, huh? Oh, shoot. I just showed all of our laundry. Dang it. Yeah, I've got a lot of laundry sold. Okay, hurry. Because I got to go. I got to go. Yeah, I'll some video you rip sticking. Kind of an improv... It's improvisation. Yeah, improvisation. There you go. On a song that we all know, so... Some haircuts. There's Oscar. How old are you, Oscar? Eleven. Henry, how old are you? Eight. Those are our two youngest boys. They've been out riding bikes, skateboards, scooters. What else have you been doing? It's practically it. Playing a game. Cool. Yeah. Until I got threw off my bike. Oh, Henry, you didn't get thrown off the bike. Henry and Leah weren't getting along very well. Sometimes Leah's not very nice. No, it's all Leah. Well, but you also get offended by her pretty easily. Don't you? No, I don't. Okay, give Christy a big smile. <laughs> yeah, all right. There's those handsome boys. Okay. Tally wants to show you her ripstick writing. Okay. So here comes Tally. Very good. Tally's 14. Super athletic. Good job! Actually, yeah, pretty much most of our kids are athletic. Which I like. I like active, healthy children. What? It's really hard because over there it's kind of bumpy. Yeah, we don't have the best sidewalks and streets in our neighborhood. It's an old neighborhood. So I think they don't care about making it <sighs> nice. It's alright. We got the trees. And Henry's riding that way. Okay, he's tired. <laughs> what are Esther and Claire doing? Are they still practicing their dance? No, we finished. Okay. It's a little hard to the there. Yeah, sorry. And there's my handsome husband's haircut. I love when his hair is short. <laughs> More voices? Like if we get I didn't finish all my ribs or brought them home, so... Um, I think I might have a little enlightened ice cream, possibly. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. It is so weird how sometimes you go through phases where you do not want to have any treats at all. You're just, that doesn't sound good to you. And then you have time periods where you do. Um, so I am. Can I have a little bit of this? 
Um, probably you shouldn't. It's probably not my best decision for tonight, but I'm going to do it. And I did, um, I don't know if I talked about this. I did my 3.8 uh, mile route and ran about a mile. It was kind of hard because I hurt myself on our hike this week. So my left knee was hurting a little bit, but I, I don't know if it's the extra exercise this week, but I've just been feeling kind of snacky and foodie this week. And, um, I could just tell myself no, or I let myself do it and be careful. And then I get over it and I move on and I'm fine for a while having nothing. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, and it seems to be working really well for me. So yeah, I'm gonna have some of this and I think we're watching a little something and then going to bed. So I'll check in with you tomorrow. Thanks for sticking around. And also for all my new sub um, subscribers. I don't, I don't know why I said sub like that. But um, appreciate it. Appreciate all the great comments. I'm going to try and get through them and answer them all tomorrow. We have a busy day tomorrow too though. So we'll see. But I appreciate it. And I will get to them. And don't forget to ask me questions. Burning questions. What do you want to know?